Alyssa Threads and today we're going to be sewing McCall's new early spring pattern M8370. I think this pattern is so elegant, very chic. You can dress it up or down. I'm wearing it now to give you a little sneak peek. I love it so much. I can't wait to sew it with you. Let's get started. Today we're going to be sewing McCall's new early spring pattern. This is M8370 and it's a cute little jacket and skirt set. We're gonna be sewing view A and B. And if you flip the pattern over on the back, it will give you the suggested fabrics. I'm using tweed today. It has the lining fabric, interfacing, and all the notions you'll need. For the notions, we'll need an invisible zipper, some trim, and four buttons. A hook and eye set is also optional if you want to have a closure for the jacket, but I am not going to use that today. Here are all the pattern pieces we'll be needing for the coat and the skirt. This is piece one, which is the front, and we'll be cutting two fabric and two lining. This is piece two, and this is the side front, and we'll be cutting two fabric and two lining. This is for cup A and B. There are also separate pieces for cup C and D that you can cut separately. We'll need two pockets for the fabric and the lining. This piece is for the fringe, for the coat and the skirt, and we'll need to cut one. This is for the back, and we'll need to cut one for the fabric and one for the lining on the fold. Piece six is the side back, and we'll be cutting two on the fabric and two on the lining. Seven is the sleeve, and we'll be cutting two fabric and two lining. Eight is for the skirt, and we'll be cutting one flat and darts. Nine is the left front, and we'll be cutting one fabric. 10 is for the back, and we'll be cutting two. 11 and 12 are for the front facing, so we'll be cutting one fabric and one lining of each. 11 will be on the fold. 13 is for the lower right front facing of the skirt, and we'll be cutting one fabric and one interfacing. 14 is for the lower left of the skirt and we'll be cutting one fabric and one interfacing. And 15 is cut on the fold and this is the lower back facing and we'll be cutting one fabric and one interfacing. So the first thing that we're gonna do is stay stitch between these two notches. It's a little bit hard to see on this tweed fabric so I'm using this pattern to reference it. And we're gonna stay stitch on both sides. Once we have the stay stitches sewn, we're gonna take our second pieces, which are piece two, and we are going to clip them along here, making sure we match up all of our notches. And I like to use clips when I'm sewing a thicker fabric. Okay, now that we have this clipped, we're gonna take it over to the sewing machine and sew five eighths of an inch. Okay, now that we have this sewn together, we're gonna flip it over and clip the notches. Be sure not to clip past your stitches. And you can see how it lays so much better once I clip it. And then we're just gonna go press it all flat. Now we're gonna take our fringe piece and we're gonna match up our notches. Mine are very hard to see on this fabric, but they are matched. And then we're gonna stitch this at a quarter of an inch. Okay, once we have this sewn, we're gonna press it flat. Then we're just gonna cut along this fabric where these lines are. So we should have four strips cut. So now we're gonna sew the pockets and we are gonna take a bit of this fringe and we are gonna cut two pieces from dot to dot, just like that. I'm using the lining because it's a little bit hard to see on this. We're gonna take these fringe strips that we just cut here, and we're gonna place them around the pockets where the dots are on the pattern. And we're gonna place them about half an inch over the 5 8 seam allowance that we're gonna be sewing. So we're just gonna clip it all the way around the pocket. Now that we have these clipped, we're gonna base stitch the fringe to the pocket all the way around. Now we're gonna take our lining pieces and place them over the pocket. So you have your fringe here, which is the right side, and we are going to clip it together. Okay, 
And then we're gonna stitch straight across the top on each pocket. We have that sewn across. We're just gonna trim the seam and then we're gonna press it flat and under stitch straight across. We're gonna take our pocket piece and you're gonna fold it over so that it's right sides together, just like this. And we are going to pin it all the way around. Now we're going to go stitch all the way around, leaving a small opening on each side. Okay, once you're done turning your pockets right side out, you can turn it over and slip stitch this opening right here. If you're adding trim, go ahead and take it and cut it from the edge of the pocket to the other edge. And then we're just gonna stitch it along the top about an inch down from the top. Okay, our pockets are all finished. We did the front and the back. And now we're just gonna top stitch them to the front of our jacket. We have top stitched the pockets to our front. And now we're gonna set this aside and work on the back. Now we're gonna take our back piece and we are gonna open it up. We're gonna stay stitch the back piece from this notch here all the way down to the very end on both sides. Now that we've stay stitched the back, we're gonna take the side back pieces and we are going to clip them to the back. And we'll do the same on the other side, just clip it to the back. We're gonna sew the side backs to the back at 5 eighths of an inch seam allowance. Okay, now that the side back and the back is sewn together, we're just gonna clip the notches where the curve is and be sure to just clip within the seam allowance. And then we're just gonna go press our seams open so that they're nice and flat. This is the fun part. This is where it all starts to come together. We're gonna take the back and then we're gonna take our front pieces, so it's right sides together, and we're gonna clip at the shoulders. And we're gonna clip at the side seams too. Okay, now we're gonna take it over to the sewing machine and sew five eighths of an inch on the shoulder seams and the sides. Okay, we have the front and back all sewn together and it's starting to look like a jacket. I'm sewing our fringe to the outer front and bottom of the jacket. So we're gonna start our fringe at the bottom side seam and we are gonna take it to the bottom right here and it says to sew it half an inch over the 5 8 seam allowance. Pin the fringe all the way around. I have the fringe all pinned and I'm just going to go base stitch this all the way around. Now that we have our fringe base stitched all the way around, if you're adding trim to yours, we are going to do the same thing with the trim. We're going to start on the side seam and this little piece of tape just shows me where it starts and ends and we're going to stitch it a, about an inch away from the seam allowance. And I am gonna pin mine, it's a little hard to see.
Okay, now I've pinned all of my trim around and I use these clips to hold the fringe back. It looks a little crazy right now with all of my pins and clips and fringe and everything, but once it's all sewn in and we get the lining in, it will all start to come together and will look so much better. I have my trim sewn all the way around the outer part of the coat and that's it for this part. Now we're gonna start working on the lining. Okay, now that we're done with the outer part of the coat, we're gonna work on the lining now and we're gonna do the same thing we did on the coat. We're gonna stay stitch from the notch all the way down to the other notch and then we're gonna sew our side front pieces together just like we did with the outer part of the coat. So I'm gonna go do that really quick and I'll be right back. Okay, now I'm gonna take the back piece of my lining and I'm gonna stay stitch from the notch here all the way down to the end. And then I'm gonna sew my back side pieces to each side, 5 eighths of an inch seam allowance, all the way from the top to the bottom. Okay, with the back all sewn together, we're gonna take our front pieces with right sides together and we are gonna sew our, sh our shoulder seams and our side seam. Okay, we have the bodice lining sewn together. Now we're gonna take the outer coat and we're gonna sew the bodice lining to the coat. We're gonna clip it all the way around. Some fringe will hang over and that's okay. We're gonna leave a small opening on the side seam I'm gonna mark right here to remind me not to sew this. And I'm gonna start here, sew all the way around, and then stop here. So now I have my outer fabric and my lining bodice sewn together. And I'm just gonna clip the edges so that it can lay nice and flat when we turn it right side out. Okay, I flipped it all right side out and I'm gonna go press along the edges to make sure the lining is laying flat. And then I'm gonna base stitch the lining armhole to the outer fabric hole right here on each side. And I'll be right back once that's all done. Okay, we're gonna take our two sleeves and we're gonna ease stitch the cap of the sleeve between the two notches at the top. And then we're gonna fold them over and sew them with right sides together down each side. Okay, now we're gonna turn our sleeves right side out. Now we're gonna take our fringe pieces starting at the seam and we're gonna pin them just like we did along the bodice. Now we're gonna go base stitch the fringe in place around the sleeves. Okay, so now we're gonna sew on our trim and I am going to turn over my fringe so that it's facing down away from the cap of my sleeve. This just makes it easier to see where I'm pinning my fringe and I'm starting at the seam about an inch away from the bottom of my sleeve and I'm just pinning it in place all the way around.
Now I'm just gonna go top stitch my trim and I'll be right back. Okay, we have the trim sewn into the bottom of the sleeve. So we're gonna put this aside. We're gonna work on the lining of the sleeve and we're gonna ease stitch each sleeve between the two notches. Okay, now that we've edge stitched and sewn the sleeves together, now we're gonna stay stitch the cap of the sleeve and the underarm of the sleeve on each side. Okay, now we're gonna be working on the wrong side of the sleeve and where we did the stay stitch, we are gonna turn it under. On the curves, you might have to clip it to make it lay flat. So I'm gonna add a few of those and I'm just gonna pin it down until I'm ready to press it. Okay, and this is how it looks once I have it all pinned. If you see any bubbling after you have it pinned, that's usually a good spot to add a notch to help it lay flat. So I'm gonna pin this side as well, and then I'm just gonna go press it flat. Okay, now we're gonna take our sleeves and with right sides together, We are going to match up the lining with the main fabric, making sure our seams and notches are all lined up. We are going to clip the sleeves. Okay, now we're gonna go stitch the sleeves at 5 eighths of an inch seam allowance. Okay, now I pulled the lining out and we are just gonna understitch all the way around each sleeve. Okay, I've turned my sleeves out and understitched the lining. Now I'm just gonna go press and make sure my fringe is all laid flat. Here's where it gets a little confusing, but I will try my best to slow it down and explain it. So we are going to attach the sleeves. We stay stitched our lining to our fabric armhole together. And over here, we have these two separate pieces. So we're actually gonna tuck the lining in because we're not gonna be using that for a bit. We are gonna put our sleeve through and we are gonna line up the underarm seam. So we are just making sure that our dots line up together. Okay, so we are only clipping together the bottom half of the sleeve. The top half of the sleeve is completely detached and we're only gonna be sewing between the dots on each sleeve. Okay, once we have the dots sewn through there, we are gonna go press our seam. Now that we have the bottom half of the sleeve sewn, we are gonna pull the lining back through and we are gonna line up the lining. So where we pressed this down before, we are gonna line it up to the edge of the stitch and we are just gonna pin it all the way around. So we're pinning it to the seam allowance of the sleeve where we were just, what we just stitched. Making sure our dots are lining up. So you can see on this side, we are not stitching the sleeve. The sleeve can just lay over. We are only stitching the seam allowance. So you can see the armholes here, I have the lining pinned. 
but on this side, I still have the sleeve out. So for the lining of the armholes, we are just gonna slip stitch this all the way around. Once we've slip stitched the lining, I am gonna show you how to finish off this armhole. So now here where we finished off on the sleeve, we are just gonna fold it over where we stay stitched it and we're gonna line it up, line up our dot up at the top cap of the sleeve with the seam of the coat. And you are just gonna pin that in place. You're gonna pin it all the way around, making sure to only grab the fabric, not the lining. And you might have to pull on it a bit. That is what our stitch is for there to kind of ease it in to keep it fitting. Turn it around and pin the sleeve to the arm. I'm gonna slip stitch the sleeve caps on each side. Okay, now that we finished all of our stitching on the jacket, we're gonna get started on the skirt and I'm gonna start by sewing the dart on my right front piece. I've sewn my dart, now we're gonna sew the left front to the right front and we're just gonna sew between the notches here because this is gonna be our slit. So we're just gonna be sewing from here to here. Okay, now we're gonna sew the darts on our back pieces. Okay, after I've sewn the darts in the back, I am gonna sew in my invisible zipper. Okay, we have our zipper sewn in. Now we are going to sew the front and back side seams at 5 8 of an inch seam allowance. So I am just gonna clip these two together. Okay, now that the front and back of the skirt are clipped together, we are gonna go sew it at 5 8 of an inch seam allowance. Okay, now we're gonna take our back facing pieces and we are gonna sew these right sides together. Okay, once the facings are sewn together, you can finish the edge however you like. Okay, now we're taking the skirt and the facing and we are just gonna pin it together. We're gonna take the back facing and we're going to pin it to the zipper. So open up your zipper. Okay, now that we have this all clipped, we're going to go sew it all the way around 5 8 of an inch seam allowance starting at the zipper and ending at the zipper. Okay, now that we have this stitched together, we are going to trim our seam allowance all the way around. Okay, after we trim away the seam allowance, we are just gonna turn this right side out. And go and give your facing a good press, and then we are going to understitch all the way around. Okay, now we're gonna add the fringe to our skirt, just like we did with the jacket on the right side. Okay, now we have clipped all the fringe around the edge of the skirt. We are gonna take this over and base stitch the fringe all the way around. Okay, now we're gonna take our facing pieces and we are going to sew these together to the dot right at the top, just right here. Okay, once we've sewn this together up here, we're gonna take these facing pieces and we are gonna sew these to 5 8 of an inch seam allowance down the sides. Okay, now we are gonna finish the top edge of the facing. I am going to serge mine, but you can zigzag stitch. We are gonna take our skirt and we are gonna clip the facing all the way around. Okay, our facing is clipped. 
Stitch all the way around starting at our dot that we marked on each side of the facing. We're just going to start here, go all the way around and end back over here. Okay, now we are going to clip the corners and trim our seam allowance. And now we're going to turn the facing so that so that it's on the inside and our fringe is pointing down. And we are going to go press this flat and then understitch the same way we did with the waistband. Okay, now that we're done with the edge facing of the skirt, all we have to do is sew on our trim and we are going to start pinning it right here at the seam. Okay, once we get back over to the seam, we are just gonna take our trim straight up parallel with the seam right here. Okay, now we're gonna go top stitch our trim all the way around. Okay, once you have the trim all sewn in, the last step is to sew in your buttons. Here are mine. So I'm gonna go hand stitch those and that's it. Once you're done pressing all the seams nice and flat, you are all finished. I hope you enjoyed sewing this pattern as much as I did. If you sew this little set and post it on any of your social media, be sure to tag McCall's and use any hashtag so that we can see it. I would love to see your set. Thanks for watching.